All right then, gang. So then, so far we have created our Firebase project and we've also created a Firestore right here, added a project collection and a document to that project collection. We've also, in our React app over here, created a config file for our Firebase setup and we've exported that Firebase object at the bottom in case we need this somewhere else inside the application. So now what we want to do is somehow find out a way to add a new project to our Firestore database from our application when we submit the form on the website. Now we already have a create project action over here and this is where we can make some kind of asynchronous call to do that. We just need to finish this up. So we want to interact with the Firestore here to add a new project. So how do we do that exactly? Well, we could use the normal Firebase library we've just installed to do that. That's absolutely fine. But instead, what I'd like to do is install a couple of packages specifically designed for Redux and Firebase to work together in Synergy. And these packages are called React Redux Firebase and Redux Firestore. Now, React Redux Firebase, that provides bindings to the Firebase service as a whole. And Redux Firestore provides Redux bindings for Firestore databases in particular. In short, installing these two packages means that we'll be able to use the Firebase API to interact with our database inside these action creators. And it also means that we'll be able to sync up our Firestore database with our React Store. So let's install these packages first of all. Open up your terminal, then npm install, and first of all, React Redux Firebase. Oops, spell this correctly. And then Redux hyphen Firestore. Okay, so install both of those. And once those are installed, we can now use them inside our project. So just like we added thunk functionality to our store, we have to do something similar with these packages. So what I'm going to do is open up index.js where we create our store right here. And I'm going to import something from each one of these packages. So first of all, I'm going to import get firestore. And this will be from redux hyphen firestore. Then I'm going to import get firebase from react redux firebase okay so we've imported both of these things right here and what we want to do is use them so that we can access the firebase or firestore api inside this function right here and the way we can do that is by tacking them on to this thing right here so what we can do is actually use a function on this thunk called with extra argument and this extra argument is going to be an object and inside this object, we can pass in different properties. Now, the properties I want to pass in are these two things right here, get Firestore and get Firebase. So let's add both of those in. So I'll say get Firebase, first of all, and then get Firestore. So now what will happen is inside this thing over here, this function, because thunk allows us to return a function, we get an extra argument. That's what this thing does over here with extra argument, okay? It allows us to pass in an extra argument over here, which is an object. Now, I want to destructure two properties from that object that we applied over here. We applied these two properties to that object, get Firebase and get Firestore, which are gonna equal these things over here. So what we can do is just destructure those inside curly braces. So I could say get Firebase, and get Firestore, and then we can use these two objects right here to interact with our Firebase and Firestore. But if we did that at the minute, then this is not gonna work because these two things don't actually know about our project. They don't know the details of it. Yet we created in the Firebase config over here all of this setup and we connected to the Firebase project, but at the minute, we're not doing anything else with it. We're not passing that information onto Redux or these things over here, so they don't really know about our project. So somehow we have to tell these two things, these two packages over here, 
Redux Firestore and React Redux Firebase, we have to tell those things that this is our Firebase config. I want you to connect to this Firebase project for us. Now, the way we do that is by using some store enhancers inside this. Now, we've talked a little bit about store enhancers. This thing right here, this thunk is a middleware. And when we apply middleware over here like this, this returns a store enhancer. So we can add multiple store enhancers to a store. And the way we do that is by using compose. So much like inside our reducers, when we have a root reducer, which combines several reducers together, we can do a similar thing over in the store. We can combine several store enhancers together. And we do that using a method called compose. So first of all, let's import compose. And we do that from the Redux library. So compose over there. Then what I'd like to do is before apply middleware, I'm just going to say compose, and this is a function. Now let's get rid of the second bracket because this apply middleware, this first thing right here, this is going to be the first store enhancer that we're composing together with other things. So let us now close this off like so. That's the compose thing over there. Then we're closing off create store. So that's the first store enhancer right there. We want to compose two more. So I'd like to now import Redux Firestore from Redux Firestore and also React Redux Firebase from React Redux Firebase. And these are the other two store enhancers. So let's add them into the compose method. So first of all, this thing, Redux Firestore, like so, which is a function. And then also this thing, React Redux Firebase, let's copy that and add that in too. Okay, so we're adding in the store enhancers and that's enhancing our store with these packages, right? So that we can link the two together, but we need to pass in our config for our Firebase in here. So that when we're enhancing our store, we're passing in that config and therefore, when we use these things over here, then these things know which project to connect to. Make sense? So let's do that. We need to import our config over here from this file. So we'll say import fb config from, and it's dot forward slash, then into the config folder, then fb config like so. So now we can take this configuration and we can pass it into both of these like this. All right then, so now when we try to use these, because we've passed that configuration into these store enhancers right here, then these things know what to connect to. And since these things now know what to connect to, we can go ahead and use this thing, get Firestore, in the next video to connect to our Firestore and add a document to our collection.